Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause for our middle schoolers who are with us today. Thank you. All right, hello and welcome, folks, to game two of this two game series here. Mavs taking on the Round Rock Dragons. Mavs hosting the Dragons here tonight at McNeil Field. Dropped the first one on Tuesday night over at Round Rock by a score of 8 0. Hoping to change the tone here tonight on middle school night. Had a bunch of uh, prospective middle schoolers from around the area that will eventually feed into McNeil High School here. Got to meet the team before practice or uh, before the game. Saw some practice and uh, a couple of them ran out there and took the field and uh, stood for the national anthem out there with uh, one of the starting Benil Mavericks, Mavericks players. So with the win on Tuesday night, Round Rock improves to 5-3 and three in district, 7-13 to 13 overall. And the starting defense for the Mavs, Jackson Collins at first base, Jack Goins at second, Ryan Vosick at shortstop, Joseph Sandusky at third. In left field tonight, James Morio, center field, Ramsey Simpson, and right field, Brandon Morio, completes the all lefty outfield once again for the Mavs. Behind the plate tonight, senior catcher Garrett Banks and the starting pitcher the senior left-hander Chris Windesman. All right, Windesman has taken his pregame warm-ups, and we are getting just about ready to get underway here. What do you say, Jason? Let's play some ball. Let's play some ball. 76 degrees, sunny winds out of the northwest, 10 miles an hour. And the leadoff hitter for Run Rock, Devin Petrie, steps in. He tries to lay down a bunt and misses. So that means the winds are blowing, um, the flags are blowing right center field. Oh, right. About 10 miles an hour. Here we go. Uh, Petrie swings and misses. I don't know one fastball, so Wind has been working ahead here, attacking the zone 0 2 on the leadoff hitter, Petrie. Pitch fastball misses low and outside, so it'll be one ball, two strike, the leadoff hitter Petrie. Oh, next pitch fastball misses just a little bit outside. Good place to miss. Got 22, two and two here. Yes, sir. Two two pitch, swung on a miss, strike three. So a strikeout to start the game here for the for the home team Mavs brings up the number two hitter, right fielder Trey Garza. Garza swings at the first pitch he sees and hits a line drive over the second baseman's head and into right field for a base hit. Now number 15, Tyler so one out single for Garza, he stands on first base and that brings up the number three hitter, center fielder Tyler Betts.
Betts swings the first pitch he sees, and it's a line drive that's going to get down into center field for a single. So after the leadoff strikeout, we've got back-to-back -back singles now. Runners on first and second, one out. And the cleanup hitter, Travis Sakura, playing shortstop this game, stands in. First pitch to Sakura. Breaking the ball, fouled softly over towards the Round Rock dugout. Quite a crowd in the stands on both sides. Visiting Dragons representing well on their side, and then with the uh, middle school night, all the extra kids and parents in attendance here. It's a pretty good packed house. Next pitch swung on, soft ground ball. That's going to also be fouled down the third baseline. Oh and two the count to Sakura. And O2 pitch swung on another foul ground ball third base side. Comes another 0-2 pitch. Runner going. And another foul both, ball. Both so runners were moving there on that 0-2 pitch. It's been four straight foul balls. Mm -hmm. This at bat. Count still 0-2. Next pitch swung on hard ground ball is going to get through the gap and, and uh, shortstop and rolls out into left center field. One run's going to score. They're going to send the runner around from second. He's on his way home and he's going to be in safely as well. So it is a two RBI double for Sakura. And that puts the Dragons up here in the top of the first inning by a score of 2 0. So Sakura stands on second after that double. That brings up the number five here, third baseman Landon Schroeder. Schroeder swings the first pitch and just fouls it back into the net. One pitch misses outside. Should be one ball, one strike. Sun definitely bearing down pretty hard on the uh, right side of the field. Could be interesting. Some line drives and mm. balls that get up in the air for the right fielder. As Schrader swings the next pitch and fouls out of play. And that's not your boy in li in right field, is it? That's one of them, yep. It's <laughs> one of the two. <laughs> one of the two twins. <laughs> yeah, that son is brutal. Sure hope he's got his sunglasses on. Yeah. My eyes aren't good enough to see if he's got the shades on. One-two pitch yeah. swung on. Just a little kind of yep. Texas leaguer. Finds the outfield grass in left center field for a base hit. That's going to bring Sakura around from second. That's all right. RBI single for Schrader there makes the score 3-0. And that brings up the number six hitter, 
Designated hitter Grant Bible, who's hitting in place for the starting pitcher for the Dragons tonight, uh, number 14, Tanner Jackson. And for some reason, the first pitch, ground ball fielded by Sandusky at third. Throws over to second to get the force. Nice. But the throw over to first is not in time. We got the lead out, so that's good. At second base, got that out. So, two down now. So Schrader's out at the force at second. Bible remains at first on the fielder's choice. Now batting number 20, Drew so runner on first now, two outs. Brings up the catcher, number 20, Drew Freed. And first pitch fastball to Freed. Misses a little high for a ball. Oh, I see the, uh, looks like the Sonic Slushy character is on, is making his way to the field, folks. Next pitch, swung on ground ball. Good diving play by Sandusky. Throws off of his knees. Not going to be in time. So the Sonic Slushy did come. He's on, making it his way to the field. It wasn't just rumor. He's here. He's <laughs> here in the, live in the flesh, folks. I'll be right back. <laughs> So a good play by third baseman Sandusky there, but it results yes, it in was. an infield single for Freed. Still a hit, but it was a nice play. And so runners on first and second now with two outs. Brings up the first baseman, Cox. Batting number 21. Great pitch. And Cox strike. Right. First pitch break ball that's in there for call strike one. So any bag, Mavs. Any bag in the infield. Runners at first and second with two down. Another breaking ball. This time just misses a little bit outside. Rhythm takes a long look at the runner on second. 1-1 one, one delivery. Another fastball misses outside. Ball two. I think the rumor was that it's actually the uh, Sonic Cherry Limeade character. Not so much the slushy character, but I think he's giving out tokens for free Cherry Limeades down there. That's why I didn't go. Steve, it's calling your name. That's why I didn't go, because it's not the guy I thought it was. <laughs> if it was the slushy the, guy, you'd be there. The but rumor was the slushy uh, guy from I see. Sonic. And I'm like, no, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> he's not here. Back to baseball. 31. 3-1 Three now. Two outs. Come on, Wendy. You got this. Great. 3 1 pitch in there. Good breaking break ball, ball inside. Ooh. Wicked. I like. I like a lot. 3 2 count now. Two outs. Runners will likely be taken off on the pitch. Yep. They do not, but the pitch is swung on and fouled out of play. Surprised they weren't running. Also looks like we, at uh, some point in there, we were distracted by the uh, entrance of the Sonic uh, Cherry Limeade guy. We have a courtesy runner, number one, Cade Algeyer, is courtesy runner at first base now for the catcher Freed, who reached on the single. See, they distracted us, Jason. Indeed. Another 3-2 pitch. Runners do go this time. Pitch is swung on and fouled out of play again on the right field side. Three two delivery again. Pitch swung on ground ball, third base side. Knocked Great down play. by Sandusky. He, makes a he diving play over to third base with his glove for the yes. force out to end Great the inning. Great play by Sandusky for the third out. Woo. I'm fired up now. Excellent defense by the freshman there, Sandusky, to get out of the jam. Wow. Run Rock tacks on three runs here in the first inning. Mavs coming up with their first at bats. We'll be right back.
All right, back with the bottom of the first inning. Mavs coming up for their first time at the plate. And the starting pitcher for Round Rock tonight, number 14, Tanner Jackson. Now leading off for the Mavericks, number one, second baseman, Jeff Goins. And Jackson will face the top of the order here for the Mavericks, leadoff hitter Jack Goins. Goins looks at the first pitch fastball in there for a call strike one. It'll be Goins, Vostick, and then the pitcher Chris Windesman to start the inning. Next pitch to Goins misses high. One one fastball is in there for called strike two. One two pitch swung on line drive into right field. That right. right fielder was just playing in, wasn't he? Yeah, it came in a couple steps, and then he had to kind of backtrack a little bit there, but managed to make the grab on the run. He was so playing shallow. First out of the inning. Out. Now batting for the Mavericks, number nine, shortstop, Ryan Vosick. That'll bring up the number two hitter shortstop, Ryan Vosick. Vosick is a first pitch fastball, caught the outside corner for called strike one. Next pitch, fastball misses low and kicks off the dirt or a shoe somewhere and goes back to the net. So it'll be 1-1 one, one count to Vosick. One one pitch is a breaking ball that is in there for a called strike on the inside part of the plate. One two pitch, fastball misses high and outside, ball two. Two two fastball misses a little bit low, so the count will go full. Come on, right here. Ah. Three two fastball swung on a miss, strike three. So two way for the Mavs here in the bottom of the first. Brings up the starting pitcher tonight, Chris Windesman. He swings the first pitch, pops it up. Foul territory, first base side. First baseman coming over, and he makes the grab in foul territory, and that will end the inning. Ten pitches, three outs. All right. I understand we got a superstar here. Yep, so Jackson works efficiently. Retires the Mavs in order. One, two, three. No runs, no hits. We head to the top of the second inning. Round Rock coming up for their second at bats, leading by a score of 3 0. We'll be right back.
All right, number nine hitter David Bradley leads off the inning here for Round Rock. It's going to be Bradley then back to the top of the order. And first pitch to Bradley is a breaking ball that looked like it had a chance there on the inside corner, but uh, umpire says ball one. Next pitch swung on ground ball, fielded by Sandusky on the run from third base, throws over in time nice play. to retire Bradley for the first out of the inning. That a kid, Sandusky. Yeah, Sandusky first out. third baseman there, sure-handed so far tonight with the glove. Makes yes, a lot sir. Of plays. So one away. Back to the top of the Dragons order here. Leadoff hitter Devin Petrie. Petrie struck out in his first at bat. Petrie lays off that last pitch there and counting out two and zero. Oh. Pitch misses a little bit high and inside. And a 3 0 pitch misses inside there as well. So it'll be a one out walk for Petrie. And it'll bring a right fielder, Trey Garza. Garza singled in his first at bat and was the first run scored for Round Rock. And Garza looks at a first pitch breaking ball that misses a little lone in. Got him. Pick off move over to first base. Pick In time. Off. Second out. Got him. Good move by Winnesman there to erase that walk. Pitch to Garza is a good breaking ball with late break. Catches the outside corner for called strike one. Breaking ball looks like it has about a foot of movement downward. And in. It's a great pitch. 1-1 one, one pitch. Breaking ball in, inside this time. Misses a little in low. Yep. Next pitch. Fastball right in there. Called strike two. That can't be. 37 pitches doesn't seem like that many for Windesman. But that's accurate. Well, was eight batters in the first inning. So True. I suspect that's probably a pretty close on target. Next pitch swung on just got a piece of it to stay alive and fouls it softly over towards the Round Rock dugout. Right here, bud. Come on, Wendy. 2-2 two -two pitch. Fastball misses a little up. Count will go full. Nobody on two outs. I like that fastball up high on a 2-2 two -two count. Hoping for the batter to chase it to get that strike three. Yep. Here we go. Full count. 3-2 two -two pitch. Ground ball chopped. Wendisman comes in a couple of steps, throws over to yeah. first base. Nice job, Chris. And that will end the inning.
So Ron Rock goes one, two, three. Here in the top of the second, no runs, no hits. Mavs coming up to bat. Down by a score of 3-0 here in the bottom of the second. We'll be right back. Four, five, and six hitters due up for the Mavericks here in the bottom of the second. Leading off will be the first baseman, Jackson Collins. He'll be followed by center fielder, Ramsey Simpson, and then right fielder, Brandon Morio. Collins looks at a first pitch fastball for called strike one. Next pitch, breaking ball. Almost hit him. Goes behind the uh, head of the hitter <laughs> Collins there for a ball. Another fastball misses high this time. Two and one to count to Collins. Pitch fastball catches the outside corner this time for call strike two. Two two pitch swung on pop foul catcher comes a couple of steps over towards the Mavericks dugout on the first Ooh. base side. Ooh bobbles it but manages to catch it and hold on to it. And that will catch Collins on the pop out to the catcher there for the first out of the inning. When it first left the bat by Collins, I thought it was going into the Mavs dugout, but nope. Catcher juggled, yeah, but he made the catch for the first out of the inning. Actually, it looks like I skipped over Banks in the uh, lineup announcement there. So, yes, so Collins has retired for the first out of the inning. That brings up the catcher, Garrett Banks, who's hitting in the five spot. And it looks like he's uh, being asked to remove a... Article of jewelry, chain of some sort. So we'll have a brief pause here while uh, he takes care of that. Yeah, Geary uh, decided to change up the uh, offensive lineup for the Mavericks. So yeah, got a couple of shuffles here. A little here. bit. Yep. All right, Gary, what do you say? One out hit here. Go G. First pitch to Banks. Fastball. Called strike on the outside corner. Another fastball outside, but it misses high. Maybe one and one. Another fastball misses outside. Steady diet of fastball so far to set bat. Two one pitch coming up. Breaking ball this time. Swung on. Grounded to third base. Can't, there we go. Can't find the handle though. 
And so Banks will be on on the fielding error by the third baseman. I was just about to say, Jason, that uh, the, you know, the, the steady diet of fastballs. I was like, I was like, okay, he's going to throw this breaking ball sooner or later. And sure enough, two and one pitch, he threw the breaking ball. There it was. Banks sat back on it. Hit a hot ground ball, third baseman. Couldn't quite handle it with the leather there. And he's standing on first base with one out. Actually, looks like we've got a courtesy runner. Courtesy runner did come in. Yep. Number 22, Ryan Shook, goes in as the courtesy runner for the catcher, Garrett Banks. And that brings up the left-handed hitting center fielder, Ramsey Simpson, to the plate. He squares around to bunt, pulls back, though, as the pitch misses low and out. Checks a swing on the next pitch, which also bounces in the dirt. They appeal out into the field umpire there, says he did not go around, so it'll be 2 0. Pretty much same pitch. Inside fastball that misses low in the dirt. So Simpson stands in with a 3-0 count now. Yeah, it almost looked identical pitch. Yeah. 2-0, and now we got 3-0. Trying to work him inside, trying to jam yep. him up. Three-o pitch inside, misses again, ball four. So Mavs now with runners on first and second. One out. And that brings up the right fielder, Brandon Morio. Come on, Brandon. You get a fastball you like. First pitch, let's swing. He likes to do it. First pitch. I guess it seems to be, they keep working that outside. In this case, and Brandon being the right-handed hitter, same pitch, same location. But outside, yep. Just keeps missing outside and low, so mm -hmm. it's ball one. They're going to come in this time. And pitcher Jackson steps off. There we go again. Six straight fastballs that all miss outside yeah. or and or low. Be ready for that one that's coming over the plate. Two and zero count here. Oh, breaking ball, first strike. Flash, oh. flash the breaker there on two zero, called strike one. To this. To the dismay of the McNeil fans. Oh no! Should be three and zero. Oh. Nope. Two and one. Oh, they throw down a second to try to catch Shook, but he's back safely. Throw was actually to the wrong side of the bag in that case. Mm -hmm. Threw to the right side and bounced. But second baseman did a good job of preventing it from rolling out into center field. 2-1 pitch coming up to, Bo to Brandon Morio. Fastball fast ball. in there in the outside corner. Called strike two. There you go. 2-2 two -two pitch swung on, fouled back to the screen. After talking to his shortstop, the uh, pitcher Jackson summons his catcher out for a quick conversation.
Catcher Freed coming back to the plate. A lot of conversation in the uh, round rock infield there. Looks like they're trying to cook up some sort of pickoff. We'll see what happens here. 2-2 pitch to Morio. Fastball misses outside. So it'll be a full count now. One out. Runners on first and second. There you go. Call time. Taking a little too long. Good decision by Brandon right there. Step out of the box. Reset. Here we go. And 3-2 pitches swung on and a miss. Strike three. Second strikeout of the night so far for the pitcher Jackson. And that'll bring up Designated hitter Caleb Crail now with two outs and runners on first and second. And Crail looks at a first pitch fastball right over the heart of the plate there. Strike one. Crazy idea that I just came up with. Uh... I know it's two outs, but push bunt towards the, you know, the right side. Just catch them off guard here. You know, I know it's two outs, but just a thought. Oh, Crail swings the next pitch. Fly ball into shallow center field. Center fielder comes in a couple steps and makes the grab, and that ends the inning. So Mavs put some traffic on the base paths, but unable to bring them around. We head to the top of the third inning. Round Rock still up by a score of 3-0. We'll be back in a second. All right, three, four, five hitters, heart of the order, due up here in the top of the third for Round Rock. Leading off will be the center fielder, Tyler Betts. Betts has had a single and a run scored back in the first inning in his only at bat. First pitch to Betts, comes inside low, misses for ball one. Next pitch fastball, misses a little outside, ball two. Betts will be continuing on his baseball career after graduating this year at UMHB as he swings the next pitch and drops it into left field for a single and then misplayed by the left fielder James Morio was going to allow him to advance to second base on the fielding error.
Now batting number 17, Travis Sephora. So the single and the misplay allows Betts to reach second here to lead off the top of the third. And that brings up shortstop Travis Sikora, who doubled in his first at bat. First pitch is Sikora. Fastball misses inside low. Ball one. Big swinging a mess at a breaking ball there. <laughs> one one fastball down just a little low. This will be two and one the count to Sakura. Sun's starting to go down. Light's starting to come on out here at McNeil Field. Don't see many high school athletes this size. Like Sakura, six foot five, the University of Texas commit. And he swings the next There's pitch and nice ground hit. ball through the hole, in the hole between third base and short. They're going to send uh, the runner home. Throw is in, but not in time. So Betts comes around from second on that and makes it an RBI single for Sakura. And the score goes to 4 0 in favor of Round Rock. Was Sakura's second hit of the night. Yep. And that brings up number five hitter, Landon Schrader. Schrader had a single in his first at bat and then uh, was out on a fielder's choice at second. So means the first pitch, ground ball in between first and second base. And that's just going to just eke out of the infield and into shallow right field for another single. We had second baseman for the Mavericks, Jack Goins, you know, creeping towards, more towards second base. And that, that ball wasn't hit hard, but hit just well enough to get past the glove of uh, Goins. The McNeil second baseman. So runners on first and second now. Nobody out. Brings up designated hitter Grant Bible. He squares around to bunt, pops it, and it's going to go foul, foul, foul third yeah. base side. Swings to the next pitch. Little Texas leaguer once again going to barely leave the infield. Oh, a lot of spin on it. Lots, yeah, that's what I was just about to say. Gets past the right fielder, Morio, for a little bit there, and that's going to allow Sakura to score from second base. And Bible actually makes it into second on that fielding miscue. Schroeder moves up from uh, first to third. But I could tell the with uh, the ball hit off the bat like that. It was just a, a lot of spin. Yeah, a lot of spin on it. And once it hit that grass, it just, you know, that, that happens. Part of the game. So score is now 5-0. Runners in second and third. Nobody out. We're going to ground ball to shortstop. Fielded by Vosick on the backhand. He's Throws already not there. Be on time. And so it'll be an infield single for it's Freed. Some, it's pretty good speed by Freed. He was already running through the bag when... Vasek was attempting to throw. So Schrader comes around to score, makes the score 6-0. Bible moves up to third. And uh, courtesy runner Kate Algeyer comes in again to uh, run for the catcher Freed at first. So first and third, nobody out now. First baseman Kyle Cox stands in, grounded out on a unassisted force out at third base in his first at bat. Here we got a line drive once again just over the glove 
of the second baseman Goins. Barely makes his way to the outfield, but is down for another single. And Bible comes around from second on that hit and scores. Makes the score 7 0. And that brings up the number nine hitter, second baseman David Bradley. Bradley grounded out the third in his only appearance so far. And he looks at a first pitch. Breaking ball misses a little inside and low. Fastball misses a little low, too. So, ball two. So, it's been six straight hits here in the top of the third, but with the exception of maybe one of them, they were barely, <laughs> barely leaving the infield. Like, are you kidding me? They're just like these little Texas leaguers. They're just, they're, you know, Round Rock, yes, they're making decent contact, but. They're finding the holes in the Texas leaguers. I don't know what else to say, right? Just Jason? enough contact to yeah. hit it where we're not. Right. And the 3-0 pitch is in there for called strike one. 3-1 count now to the hitter, Bradley. Next pitch breaking ball just got a swing on it there as it was breaking in and fouls it out of play. Chris is really throwing well with that breaking ball. That's It's been a great pitch tonight though for him. Throw it again. 3-2 pitch, yep. swung on, same same breaking ball there, and fouls it out of play again. I'd keep throwing it, personally. Throw it another time or two, he keeps fouling it off, you know, then give him a heater high and away, maybe. I don't know. No, with this batter, maybe high and tight. <laughs> Fastball this time outside. Fouls it again back behind the press box. Look, David Bradley, the batter, he's really crowding the plate, isn't he? Yeah, he's right up on top of it. Yep. You're right. That's a and great pitch. Next pitch strike comes three. inside. Called strike three. Beautiful. That pitch was a beaut. Second strikeout of the game Clark. for Windesman and first out of the inning. Brings us back up to the top of the Round Rock order. Left fielder Devin Petrie sits in, or stands in. Petrie with a strikeout and a walk. And first pitch fastball. Misses high and inside, gets away from the catcher Banks, and that's going to allow both base runners to move up one base. So we're on second and third now with one out. Yeah, Mavericks defense, they don't have to worry about the sunglasses anymore. Sun has gone down. Sun's gone down completely now, yep. yes. So. All right, 1 0 pitch coming up here to Petrie. Swung on, hard ground Ooh. ball, knocked down by the first baseman time. Collins, and he's going to take it, get the out at first. That does allow Algaier to score from third. Cox moves up from second to third. And it's two outs now. But the RBI on the ground out there by Petrie makes the score 8-0. And right fielder Trey Garza stands in. 
Yeah, I knew uh, with the bobble with Jackson Collins there, I knew there weren't going to be a play at uh, home. I was like, you've got time to make the, the out at first, the second out of the inning. <clears throat> first pitch, good looking breaking ball there. Missed somewhere. I guess it was a little high. Ball one. Next pitch, hard ground ball right up the middle. Gets through the pitcher's mound and into center field for an RBI single. And that will bring up Tyler Betts. Now with two outs and a runner on first. First pitch to Betts. Misses inside and low. Gets away from the catcher, Banks. And by the time he finds it, the runner, Garza, easily advances down to second base. A couple other scores from around the district so far tonight. Stony Point up by a score of 2-0 over Hutto in the top of the fourth. Looks like Westwood and Vista Ridge got a bit of a late start. It's Westwood up 1-0 in the top of the first. And Vandegrift leading Cedar Ridge by a score of 2-0 in the bottom of the third. Next pitch is a fastball, misses high and outside, ball two. Any Masters update, Jason? I confess I am not a golf guy. So Tiger Woods is back, have, though. Is you he back? did know Tiger Woods is back. I, oh, you did not know. I, I think I may have saw something in the news about <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tiger's <laughs> back, yeah. 2 0 pitch. Breaking ball, go one in there for call strike one. Learn something new about you. That you don't follow golf. I don't follow the golf. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just golf. It's the golf. I, I like it. Okay. I can hit yeah, a ball yeah, a ton. Yeah. I could just can't tell you which okay. direction it's going to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about like me. <laughs> that's why I don't golf. <laughs> Watching it, though, for me, that's another thing. I'm well, I'm okay with that. I'm sure it'll be an unpopular opinion, but watching it is, uh, is something <laughs> to help put me to sleep. <laughs> like watching paint dry? Paint dry, yeah. 3-1 <laughs> pitch coming up. There you go. Change up in there. Yeah. Call strike two. Nice pitch. Yeah. Full count to the hitter bets. And next pitch misses outside and high for ball four. And so we're going to have a visit to the mound by head coach Aguirre, and he's bringing someone with him, so it looks like it's going to be a pitching change here. Number 20, Dom Escami is going to come in in relief for Chris Windesman. And uh, we'll let him get his warm-ups, and we'll update you on the rest of the changes to the defense here when we get back.
All right, so Dominic Escamilla, the senior right-hander, is now the new pitcher has come on here, and he inherits runners on first and second with two outs in the top of the third inning. And he faces Travis Sikora as the first pitch. It's swung on and missed by Sikora for strike one. Other defensive changes, uh, so starting pitcher Winnesman stays in the game. He's now out in center field. Ramsey Simpson has moved from center to left, and James Morio has moved from left to right. Brandon Morio has come out of the game. And next pitch to Sakura is a fastball, misses a little high and in, ball two. One one breaking ball, misses high, It'll be two and one. There are two arms up in the uh, Mavericks bullpen. One of those being the left-hander, Brandon Morio, who just came out of the game from right field. And then there's a right-hander in there, too, but I can't see who it is. And next pitch inside, fastball, swung on and fouled back to the screen. Two two pitch coming up. Breaking ball swung on, lined into center field. Windsman over a couple of steps to his left, and he makes the grab on the run. And that will end the inning. But Round Rock tacks on six additional runs, leading comfortably by a score of nine to zero as we head to the bottom of the third inning. Mavs coming up to bat. We'll be right back. Okay, Mavericks still working their way through their first time through the lineup here in the bottom of the third. Leading off will be the number nine hitter, left fielder James Morio, then back to the top. Key here is to not try to do too much, just try to win every at bat as Morio swings to the first pitch and hits a ground ball right down first baseline, fielded by the first baseman. Looks like a uh, defensive change there. Number 16, Ren Andrew Warther is now the first baseman. He made the play. The unassisted put out at first base for the first out of the inning. So back to the top of the order for the Mavs. Second baseman Goen stands in. Goen's lined out to right field in his first appearance. And he looks at the first pitch fastball in there for a called strike. A one breaking ball this time. Swung on and missed strike two. I'm back. Did I miss much, partner? Not a whole lot. Just an inning change there. <laughs> Looks like we do have a, a host of defensive substitutions. I'm going to try to catch up okay. on those for Round Rock here. but I'll let you do that. Time permitting. <laughs> 
Uh, we'll see what they are when they come through the, through the, through the batting order yeah. as well. That's what I that's what I was referring to <laughs> when they come up to bat. So there's a decent amount of them, aren't there? Come on, Jack. Two two pitch swung on fly ball into right field. Right fielder makes a couple of steps over to his right, and he makes the grab in the air for the second out. So it shows. So two away here in the bottom of the third. Brings up number two hitter Ryan Vosick. Oh. And first pitch to Vosick comes up in the kitchen there and misses. Chin music. I'm glad it didn't get my boy in the chin there. <laughs> Ooh, next pitch is swung on and grounded foul over towards the Mavericks dugout. One one breaking ball. Swung on a miss, strike two. Come on, Rhino. One two pitch, fastball misses inside low. And two two pitch coming up. Swung on, popped up, foul territory, first baseman going out, and it's just not going to be playable. Second baseman, right fielder, and first baseman all for Round Rock were over there in foul territory, but just couldn't quite come up with it. So Vosik will head back to the plate. Get out of this slump right here, nine. Right here. Right now. Let's go. That was another 2-2 pitch. Swung on ground ball. In Called between. it. Third base and shortstop. Base hit. All right. It's nice and to see Ryan Vosick on base. Like v it. Vosick with a two-out single here. First hit of the game for the Mavericks. And that'll bring up. Current center fielder Chris Windesman. That first pitch to Windes and misses high and up. Now you're done. You're down nine runs, Ryan Vosick. <clears throat> you're at first base. You don't need to be thrown out. I'm trying to steal second. Just saying. <laughs> Stay close to the bag, son. <laughs> Windsman looks at a Come called on, strike on the outside corner. Conservative lead. I like it. Next pitch on their breaking ball. Oh, swung on missed. Late break. But he's there. Pitch gets away Oof. from the catcher. Throws down to try to catch Vosick advancing to second, but he's been safely. So now he stands on second base. With two outs and a 1-2 count to the hitter, Windesman. Just pitch. a bit outside. Yeah, misses a little bit outside there. So it'll be a 2 2 count. It's like Stony Point got, has gone up by a score of 3 to nothing now over Hutto in the bottom of the fifth. Another pitch, breaking ball misses outside this time. So we've got a full count now to Windsman. Two outs, Vasek, your runner on second. Come on, Chris. And Westwood leading by a score of 3-1, to one, still in the first inning over Vista Ridge. 
3-2 pitch. Breaking ball misses high and outside. Ball four. Good at bat. There you go, Chris. So runners on first and second for the Mavs now with two outs. That's going to bring up first baseman Jackson Collins. And then in the top of the fourth inning, Vandegrift is leading Cedar Ridge by two, score two to one. First pitch to Collins. Ooh, looked a little outside. Mm -hmm. Umpire says fastball caught part of the plate there. Strike one. Looked a good inch or two off the plate, but still called it a strike. Another outside fastball called strike two. Pitcher knows he's going to call it a strike. Throw an identical pitch, just like the last one. All right. 0 2 pitch. Misses in the dirt, ball one. One two pitch swung on, popped up infield. First baseman Andrew Wartha coming in. He's in foul territory on the first baseline, but he makes the grab. And that will end the inning for the Mavericks. Leave two on base. No runs. One hit though by Ryan Vosick. And we head to the top of the fourth inning. Mavs still down by a score of nine to zero. We'll be right back. All right, leading off the top of the fourth inning for Round Rock, third baseman landed Schrader. Schrader reached both times tonight, both times on singles, and scored a run in the third. He swings the first pitch, pops it up. Jackson Collins, maybe? Just behind first nope. base, second baseman Goins is over. Jack and Goins, second baseman for the Mavericks, says, I got this. Nice play and for the first out. He makes the grab there in foul territory. Came a long way over there. Oh, actually, that was in fair territory? All right. So one pitch, one out for the relief pitcher Escamilla here in the top of the fourth. That brings up designated here Grant Bible. Oh, that was a good pitch. Called ball. Breaking ball. I guess just off the inside part of the plate, maybe a little high. So that was up. Yeah, 1 0 pitch misses high. I think they tried to peel down yeah. the field umpire, see if he didn't check his swing, but 
He did not go around. Two zero pitch, Bible swung on, pop foul. It's going to hit us here in the press box. Yep. Boom! Right and up it the did. top. Yep. Two one pitch, swung on, fly ball out in the right left field, him. right at the left fielder Simpson, and he makes the grab. So two quick outs for Escamilla and the Mavs here in the top of the fourth. That's going to bring up the catcher, Drew Freed. Freed two for two with two singles and a run scored tonight. And just missed him. Freed turned, turned his back to the pitch. Looked like it was going to hit him, but it turns out it didn't. It's just a ball. Next pitch misses outside and low. 2 0 count to Freed here. Two outs, nobody on. Two old pitches swung on and fouled back into the screen. How about we get three up, three down? That sounds pretty good to me. Just a quick half inning right here. Umpire liked it. 2-1 pitch was inside, but 2-2 two -two now. Caught the inside corner. For a strike. Yep. Ooh, looked like the same pitch. Maybe a little mm -hmm. low that time. So count is now full. Swung on, line drive, mm. bounces just in front of the uh, shortstop. I knew that was going to be trouble, just the way that ball came off the bat. Yeah. Just kind of tried to somewhat short hop it there, but it just kicked up, went over the back <laughs> of his shoulder there and yeah. uh, into left center field for a – see where they score that one there. That's probably going to be an error, though. That's a tough play, but – with it going off his, you know, his, he had his body like right, right there. But the ball, you know, going off him like that, error. All right, so here is the uh, the first baseman, Ren Andrew Wartha, now hitting in the eighth spot in place of the uh, starting first baseman, Kyle Cox. So Andrew Wartha stands in for his first at bat of the game. Nice. And first pitch to Andrew Wartha is a fastball called strike in the outside corner. Way to paint that outside corner there with that fastball. And that's going to be a throws over first. Check the runner. He's back in time and it turns out First baseman Collins actually didn't have the ball in his glove. Next pitch swung on, lofted in the air in the shallow center field. Wind has been coming, charging in in a couple of steps. And he makes the grab, but they're going to say the it was it a was, transfer. It was an out, yeah. yeah. So no damage done. No runs, no hits. Escamilla gets out of the top of the fourth inning with no damage. Run Rock still ahead comfortably by a score of 9-0 as we head to the bottom of the fourth. Five, six, seven hitters due up for the Mavs here. We'll be right back.
All right, we have a new pitcher for Round Rock, number 18, Nathan Frumke, comes in in relief for Tanner Jackson. Looks like number three, Tyler Teets, also uh, goes into third base in place of Landon Schroeder. And so the new pitcher, Frumke, will face Garrett Banks to start the bottom of the fourth. Banks looks at a first pitch called strike in the outside corner. Next pitch called strike two. Garrett, I'm right there with you. I disagree as well, but I digress. It's 0-2. Next pitch fastball misses outside high. Tough, tough kid right here at the plate. Broken middle finger, 11 stitches. In his face. To his face. <laughs> yeah, when he took a ball to his face. Very tough kid. And 2-2 pitch is fouled back out of play. He gets my vote for Iron Man Award at the end of this season. I'll vote twice for him. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> Uh-uh. 2-2 two -two breaking ball. Check the swing. Laid off of it. So it'll work back from an 0-2 count to full now. Three-two okay, pitch swung on. Fly ball. Loft it into center field. Center field makes a couple steps back and makes the grab. So Banks flies out for the first out of the inning here. Brings up the center fielder, Ramsey Simpson. Simpson reached on a walk and his only at-bat so far tonight. And he lays off the first pitch there that misses low and outside for ball one. We can pull the string on a change up there. Swung on miss, strike one. One one fastball misses up. Pitch misses inside and low. It'll be two ball or three balls in one strike now to Simpson. And next pitch is swung Ooh. on and it is a deep drive out to right field. Right field, they're going back. Great contact. And that ball is going to bounce right in front of the fence. And Simpson. Stand up double. For with a stand up double. Yeah. Boy, that ball looked like it was about to go out. I don't know about you, Jason, but I was like, I wouldn't have been shocked if actually, if that cleared the right field fence right there, the way that ball left the bat. It was definitely well hit, yeah. but as you can see from the flags, not a trace of wind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Neither helping nor hurting. <laughs> the winds uh, are, uh, I mean, the flags, yeah, definitely not moving at all. So. But a nice, yeah. well hit double for Simpson there with one out. And uh, Dom Escamilla, the current pitcher, Stands in now, hitting into the seventh spot in place of Brandon Morio. And he looks at a first pitch fastball that looked like it was a little bit low and outside, but there we have it. Nice pitch fastball swung on, missed. You know what's interesting is the beginning of this game, I think the winds were not only like steady at 10, but they were like going up to about 15 miles an hour. And now, nothing. Nothing Hardly doing. Hardly anything. Yep.
I'm surprised by the umpire right there. I thought he was going to call that as strike three, but nope. One and two. He's been calling that most of the evening. That one. And he got him there. He got him there. Yeah. Strike three. And two down. Two away brings up designated hitter Caleb Crail. Crail flew out to center field in his only appearance so far. And he looks like first pitch fastball on the inside part of the plate for called strike one. This pitch misses just a little bit low. was an interesting pitch there. I'm coming off the right-handed batter or a right-handed pitcher. Did you tell what that was? It almost looked like that screwball motion on it there. Yeah. Missed for a ball, so the count's two and one. But uh, yeah, that was a very pitch with some very weird movement coming off the right-handed arm. Next pitch swung on line drive into shallow oh, right field. Down. That's going to get down you. for a base hit. Simpson's He's got good speed. Hustle all the uh, way around the plate. Second, and oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, it looks like he whiplashed his head. No, but I think he touched home. I thought he originally touched home plate. Oh, oh. and they're going to say he missed tagging home plate. Oh. And then this uh, subsequent run around there, the catcher managed to tag him. Oh. I was expecting a run through. Simpson... Running through the catcher, yeah. He, right. He avoided so, the catcher, so. Simpson is tagged out, yep. trying to score from second on the single by Crail there. Unfortunately, he took a hard fall and kind of whipped his head, the back of his head on the ground. So hopefully we'll see if he's okay and can stay in the game. Either way, that ends the inning. Mavs almost scored, but called out at home. Coach Aguirre getting his money forward with the home plate umpire there on that call. Either way, no runs. One solid hit by Ramsey Simpson, a double. And we head to the top of the fifth inning. Ron Rock still up 9 0. We'll be right back.
All right, getting ready to start the top of the fifth inning here. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like Simpson has come out of the game due to that uh, hard fall at the play at the plate. And now the defensive changes are James Morio, who started in left, went over to right, is now back over in left field. Windesman still in center field, and uh, number eight, Cole Granke, is our new right fielder. Escamilla is still the pitcher. And he will face number four, David Bradley, to start the start the inning. And the ball, first ball is fouled. And one of the lucky middle schoolers here tonight manages to pick himself up a souvenir. Oh and one, the count to Bradley here to start the inning. Bradley zero oh and two on the night with a ground out and a strikeout. One pitch is in there for a called strike. One two pitch swung on, fouled back out of play. Another 1-2 fastball swung on and fouled back out of play again. One two pitch misses a little bit low and outside. And next pitch misses a little high this time. So working all the way back from 0-2 to a full count now. Leadoff hitter Bradley. We don't want to lose him here. Try not to give up a walk. And next pitch swung on, fouled back into the net again. And the umpire says he's out of balls. There we go. He got a little re resupply there. Baseballs, we're ready to go. Another 3 2 pitch. Swung on, fouled back in the net again. Five foul balls this at bat for Bradley. Yeah, I got to give Bradley uh, credit here where credit is due. He's making him work. Oh, no. 3 2 breaking oh. ball. Off the helmet. Just stands right in there and wears it right on the top of the helmet. So, after a long at bat, Bradley earns the hit by pitch. And that takes us back to the top of the Round Rock order. And we have a. Walker also Brooks is going to pinch hit in place of the left fielder Devin Petrie. So also Brooks the hitter. He looks at ball one. No typo here on the last name. It is also Brooks. Yes, all, right. all one word. Yes. Big hack swing and a miss at a breaking oh, yeah. ball there. Throws over to check the runner at first, but he is back safely. Yeah, Bradley was extending that lead at first base. So, Escamilla just keeping him honest over there at first. Good pitch. Nice, nice pitch. Ball. Frozen with a breaking yeah. ball.
Next pitch swung on, lofted foul out of play. Not quite the distance to make it to the road. McNeil, McNeil Road. One and two the count to Alsa Brooks. Another throw over there, not in time. Good stop. Pitch kept in front by the catcher Knock Banks there. Keep it in front, Banks. Good job, Garrett. Count now two and two. Appreciate your updates, too, from around the district, Jason, with the other uh, games underway. that have been going on for some time this evening. And my last pitch there. Misses, so it'll be a full count now to also Brooks. Mm -hmm. Experience swung on, hard oh. ground ball right to Escamilla. He's going to throw to second to get the force at second. Throws over to first, not in time. But a good play on the hot comebacker right back to the pitcher Escamilla there. And yes, it was. Yeah. Get, the, get the lead runner forced out there at second base. So one away now, runner on first. We have another and we got an another pinch hitter, number 22, Ian, Ian Bamberg, comes yeah. in and yeah. will hit in the number two spot in place of Trey Garza, the right fielder. Yep. And he will look at a first pitch fastball in there for called strike one. A couple updates on score. Stony Point over Hutto by 5-1. Score in the top of seven. Westwood leading Vista Ridge 5-1 in the top of three. Mm -hmm. And Vandegrift 3-2 over Cedar Ridge at the top of the sixth. Thank you, sir. No extra charge for that, folks. I'm, you know, I'm going to put in a good word for you, though. <laughs> Bonus should be coming your way, buddy. Actually, don't hold your breath. I'll try not to spend it all in one place. Nope. As there's a foul ball. First baseman Collins charging over there, and nope, didn't make the play. Looks like he just kind of ran out of room. He, I can't quite see. There's a well. I've got a better angle than you. Yeah. Okay. And he uh, didn't make the play. All right. So a long. He still had room. Long foul ball out. Long foul ball. Foul ball there for. Yeah. Uh, We're one and two, right? Yeah. One and two. The count. But no, Jason, don't hold your breath on the bonus. That's what I was referring I'll to. I'll give you half of whatever I get. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if it does come, then I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Runner goes, 1-2 pitch in. in the dirt. Ooh. Throw down is going to be offline. And so also Brooks will have a stolen base. Two two pitch coming up to Bamberg. Oh, just misses. Maybe a little bit low there. So it'll be a full count now. One out. Also, Brooks, your runner on second. And the next pitch is swung on, popped in the air, shallow right field. Second baseman Goins charging and trying to make the play, and he does make the grab. Second out. Yep. Nice play. So Bamberg pops out to second base for the second out of the inning. And we're going to have another pinch hitter. Looks like number one, Kate Algeyer, who has been a courtesy runner this game, is now coming in and will hit in the third spot in place of Tyler Betts. Thank you. 
Okay, Cade, yeah. Um, I was just getting it right. Cade Algar. Number one. One oh breaking ball to Algar there misses. So it'll be two and O. Oh. Runner goes. Pitch is swung on. Line drive into right field. Right field to Cole Granke. Makes the catch. Cole diving on his knees. Woo! To end the inning. Had a great read on the ball. Just yes, coming in did. hard. And great catch. To end the inning. Came in fresh. Entered the game this inning. Makes a key play to get us Cole? out of the inning. So no damage done. One runner on a hit by pitch, but does not come around. Headed to the bottom of the fifth inning. Mavs still behind by a score of 9-0. to We'll be right back. All right, James Morio will lead it off for the Mavs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Morio with a ground out so far tonight. And the first pitch he sees from the relief pitcher Fromke misses low in the dirt, ball one. Low again. Another ball in the dirt for ball, ball two. two. Do have a final score there. Stony Point has Ooh. defeated Hutto by a score of 5 1. Sorry, I'm putting you on the spot. Stony Point, what does that improve their district record to? Are you able to tell me? I believe Possibly. it's going to be maybe uh, and that's three, okay if you don't. three and five. Okay. I think that might be where they're at. Thank you. 3-0 pitch to Morio is a get-me-over called strike one. Mm -hmm. and there you go. Next pitch misses high and outside, ball four. So Morio starts the inning with a leadoff walk. And that'll bring us back to the top of the Mavericks order. Lead up hitter Jack Goins. Goins made good contact tonight, but flew out both times to right field. And first pitch to him misses outside for ball one. He made good contact. Good things eventually happen. And next pitch does catch the outside part of the plate for called strike. Next pitch bounces in the dirt, stays in front, though. So, actually, with that win tonight over Hutto, Stony Point improves to 4-5 and five in district play. Okay. Thanks for the update. That's outside. We outside. Three and one now. Come on, Jack. 3-1 pitch misses outside and low again. So back-to-back -back walks 
here in the bottom of the fifth. That's what we need, runners on base. Here comes uh, the Dragons head coach out to nobody, make a visit. Nobody up in the bullpen, nope. though, so unless he's going to make a cold switch here, this is likely just a conversation. Mm -hmm. Cold switch it is. He's making the change. He is. He's going to pull somebody in from His center field. Center fielder coming in. Oh, looks like it's the left-hander, Kate Allgaier, is going to come in from center field. Possibly change out a glove and take to the mound. Okay, so... There's going to be a host of defensive switches here, too, yeah, folks. Yeah, first... We will, uh, Catch we'll up on those out. after the <laughs> after Algar gets his warm ups and we'll be right, right. back. Okay, so contrary to early reports, the first baseman, Ren Andrewartha, actually is, has come in to be the relief pitcher. Uh, Algaier remains in center field. He seemed to just come in to change out a glove. Uh, the designated hitter, Grant Bible, is now our first baseman for, uh, for Round Rock. All right, so Andrewartha inherits runners on first and second, nobody out. And Ryan Vosick is the first hitter he will face. Andrew Worth the left hand pitching junior. So, up. Up. And 2 0. First two pitches to Vasek. Both miss for balls. Next one, even though the catcher can't handle it, it's called a strike. I'm 
kind of laughing at myself because that that previous pitch I said up. I didn't realize my volume was up as high as it was. <laughs> hot mic, <laughs> time, hot mic, time to come down a little bit on my volume here. Yes, sorry about that hot mic moment. Two one pitch misses outside. A lot of run on that delivery there. Andrew Roth has yeah. kind of got a three quarter arm slot left handed pitcher. On a right-handed batter, that ball just got a lot of run out to the outside part of the plate. Here's your pitch, Ryan. Come on. I'm calling it right now. And through okay. pitch, misses low. There's a pitch that you did a great job watching go into the glove for ball four, and you're on first base. So, Round Rock walks the bases loaded here in the bottom of the fifth. And nobody out. Nobody out brings up Chris Windesman. And the first pitch to win is a minute as a ball. One zero -oh pitch. That one runs back in this time on the left hand hitting win is a and catches the outside corner for a called strike. I thought that ball was going to continue to go outside, but it had like, was it just me or it had a little bit of run at the last moment coming back yeah, in? Yeah, it does. It's got that arm side run off yeah. that left hand delivery. And there it is again. There, second time. Yep. In a row. Looks like Wynn has been got a foul tip on it there, yeah. but swung on for strike two. Mavs dugout has come to life. Bottom of the fifth here with nobody out and bases loaded. And next pitch is in there for call strike call three. Yeah. First strikeout for Andrew Wartha in relief here. First out of the inning. Brings up the first base from Jackson Collins. Collins looking for his first hit tonight. Two pop outs. And first pitch to Collins comes in a little tight there, but called strike one. Next pitch to Collins, swung on, popped up, foul territory, and he's going to get out of play. Jackson will work through, and he's just getting under underneath the ball a little bit. In these last few at bats, but he is one heck of a hitter. He'll, uh, he'll straighten it out here. Hard slider there, misses a little outside and low. Maybe one and two the count. Let's go two four. Got James Morio, the runner, on third. Jack Goins on second, and Ryan Vosick on first here. This pitch swung on, popped up infield. First baseman Bibles underneath it, and he's going to make the grab. Infield fly roll in effect there. Yeah, just getting underneath it a little bit. He'll work it out. Sorry, bud. So two away. Base is still loaded. It brings up the catcher, Garrett Banks. All right, G. Ducks on a pond. Here we go. Let's get them in. And first pitch to Banks misses a little inside. Oh, 
Next pitch swung on, fouled, out of play. One one pitch, break ball misses outside. Are they saying row in the dugout? I just thought I'd ask you. It's like it sounds like row. I don't know uh, if it's an actual word or just well, uh, some I see sort a paddle. Chant or I'm, I see a paddle. Now. Oh, is there? There is a paddle. Yeah. Mission. Okay. So. He pulled out a paddle, so that must be what I'm hearing. Next pitch, fastball swung on and fouled back into the screen. I think more than anything, it's just a uh, distraction <laughs> for the pitcher with the paddle there. That's that's what I'm seeing. It. And what, I can't tell which which player it is with the paddle in the dugout, but uh, row is what I keep hearing. That is that is an actual row. That row. is an actual oar. There. Yeah, yeah, it's an oar. It's a paddle. <laughs> Comes a two-two pitch to Banks. Breaking no, ball misses outside. Nope. Not not so fast there, bud. All right, full count, two outs, bases juiced. Protect if it's close. And Andrew Martha steps off right before he begins his delivery. 3-2, everybody running, two outs. Full count, right, Jason? We'll likely see as he starts it, there he goes. Pitch oh, there we go! Ball right up the middle into right center field gut. for a base hit. Base hit RBI. Morio scores, scores from two. second and going scores Woo. from second. There we go. We are on Mavs. They are on the board. So a two RBI single with two outs and bases loaded here for Banks. Now the score is nine to two. There we go. Now batting number sixteen, Wyatt Newman. And we're gonna have a. Courtesy runner for the catcher Banks after that two RBI single. Number 22, Ryan Shook now takes his place on first base. Boss extends at second. Advanced one base on that play. And we're going to have number 16, Wyatt Newman, comes in to pinch hit for Ramsey Simpson, who left the game last inning after that, uh, after that hard fall at the plate. Hopefully uh, that boy Ramsey Simpson is okay. That was a hard fall, back of his head, hitting the dirt when he was attempting to uh, uh, slide home. Great hit by Garrett Banks there. Two runs scored, so now making the score, Round Rock 9, McNeil 2. Here in the bottom of the fifth. So Wyatt Newman stands in. For his first at bat tonight, with the runners on first and second, and still two outs. And he looks at the first Whoa. pitch fastball that misses for ball one. Another fastball. Oh, umpire said that one caught the outside corner. Called strike. Next pitch swung on. Chopped foul. Counts now one ball, two strikes to the hitter Wyatt Newman. And time is called. Bostic, your runner on second. Courtesy runner Ryan Shook on first. No. Next pitch break of all missed outside. 
Pitcher Andrew Warp started walking off like it was strike three there, but it he's didn't done look it twice close. now. He's done it twice. Just saying, <laughs> it's been two strikes. He's expecting that called third strike, and it's outside both times. It's been outside. Comes a two-two pitch. Fastball misses outside, and we're gonna have another full count situation here with two outs and the runners on first and second. Runners should be moving on first and second. Should be running. There they go. Yeah, oh. pitch is swung and I missed strike three. That's it. Yeah. So the Mavs come alive for a little bit here. Two RBI single by uh, catcher Garrett Banks puts them on the board. Still trailing by seven runs, though, as we head to the top of the sixth inning. Score, Round Rock 9, Mavericks 2. We'll be right back. All right, we've got a new relief pitcher for the Mavericks, number 14, Brandon Morio, who started the game in right field, came out for a bit, and he is now the pitcher of record for the Mavericks, coming in really from Dom Escamilla. Morio will face 4-5-6, heart of the lineup, here in the top of the sixth inning. Leadoff hitter will be the shortstop, Travis Sikora, who's 2-3 for three tonight with a double, a single, and then flew out to center field. And there's some sort of conversation happening between the Round Rock head coach and the home plate umpire. That is the cause for the delay here, folks. Yeah, Sakura's bat has definitely come to life uh, tonight as opposed to Tuesday. If I'm not, did he go 0 for 4 in Tuesday night's game? Uh, I don't think he got a hit. Yeah, I think it was a walk. A walk. And, and tonight he's got a couple of hits, you know. He's, so, yeah, a walk. That's right. Okay. So first pitch is a core breaking ball misses a little outside ball one. Next pitch fastball misses outside too. Pretty good. Just a little hair off there. <clears throat> Three straight balls to start the inning here. Three-zero pitches in there. Get me over. Called strike. Three-one pitch swung on, fouled out of play. So Moria works back from three-zero to a full count now.
Oh, this pitch swung on. Foul ball. Foul ball, though. Line down the third base side. Rolls into the round rock dugout, or round rock bullpen, I should say, where it looks like there's some activity on the round rock side. Yeah, I was eyeballing that, too, just, uh, just a minute ago. Activity going on in the dragon bullpen. 3-2 pitch. Swung on. Fouled back to the net. Nice. Three-two pitch, swung on a miss, strike three. Fast ball, outside corner for strike three. First out of the inning. So Morio works after a little bit of command problems, getting in the hole 3-0, comes all the way back, a strikeout to start mm -hmm. the inning. And we have a yeah. pinch hitter, Tyler Teets, comes in in place of Landon Schroeder. This is number three, yeah, Tyler right. Teets, yep. He looks at a first pitch breaking ball for called strike. Looks another fastball right there on the outside corner too. Some more working ahead this time, 0-2. Our two fastball misses outside and high. And the final score, Cedar Ridge has defeated Vandegrift by a score of 4-2. to two. All right. One-two pitch, misses low and gets away from the catcher back to the screen. So it'll be 2-2 two -two count now to Teets. And there's our Ramsey oh. Simpson back out of the, comes out of the dugout, yeah, picks up that foul ball. Nice so good to sign. see him, yeah, jogging out and getting that foul ball. 2-2 fastball swung on and fouled back out of play. Two-two pitch swung on line just over the glove of nope. the shortstop Vosick and into shallow center field for a base hit. All right, looks like we're going to have another pinch hitter. Number two, Braden Best, comes in and hits in place of the of Grant Bible in the sixth spot here. Bible started at DH, was the uh, first baseman last inning. Looks like he will come out of the game, and Braden Best stands in for his first at-bat of the night. Big swing and a miss on a high heater there, strike one. Next pitch, good break ball in there, catches the outside corner, called strike two. Pitch fastball far off line there. Good job keeping it from going back to the screen and allowing the runner to advance yeah. by catcher Garrett Banks. He made it look kind of easy too, because that is that is not an easy play for a catcher. Not at all. You know? <laughs> that the fastball just tailing away like that. Next pitch fastball just got a piece of it fouled back to the screen. Morio showing good command on his pitches. Knock on wood thus far. Keep it going here. Keep him honest at first base. <laughs> there he goes. Morner goes. Pitches yep. the breaking ball, and that's. I had a feeling he he was creeping. He was getting a little bit more. I had a feeling he was going to try to steal second, and he did. It's all right.
So Teed's the runner on second now. We got a 2 2 count to the hitter best. There and it is. He looks at called strike three. Great pitch. Second out. So Mario comes in, gets two outs via strikeout. And we're going to have another. So number 29, Cole Cravens, comes in to hit in place of the catcher, Drew Freed. They're just making move after move here. Yep. yep. Coach doing a good job trying to get his players in. Sure. Get them sure. some exposure, some oh, experience. That's, it's a good thing. Just keeping us on our toes, that's all. <laughs> Next pitch is going to be in the gap and takes a weird kick into right field. Mm. And that's going to be a single, and that's going to allow Teets to come all the way in from second and score a run. Number 11 coming in to run. Courtesy runner Brandon Newton on first base. Yes, and Ren Andrewartha, who's the current pitcher, yeah. is the is the hitter. Correct. And first pitch to Andrewartha. Fastball misses high and inside. Lefty lefty matchup here. Throws over to first. Check that. Courtesy runner Newton there. Make sure he's uh, not too excited about coming in trying to steal a base as a courtesy runner. Yeah. Another fastball misses a little bit high. Are we down to like the regular season after tonight's game is it like five or six games remaining on the regular season like schedule? Six games left. Yep. In district, yeah, six. Two zero pitch swung on, fouled back out of play. <clears throat> time flies when you're having fun, Jason. Well, time's gonna fly. <sighs> Seems like the older you get, whether you're having fun or not. No doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, brother. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That was a good one. No extra charge for that, too, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Two one pitch gets away from the catcher banks and go back to the screen. Allows uh, Newton to advance to second base. So a quick conversation there, possibly on signs between uh, catcher Banks and the pitcher Morio. Banks heading back. Two outs. Got a runner on second. 3-1 count to the hitter, Andrew Wartha. And next pitch just swung on and fouled back out of play again. I'll bring it to a full count. Two pitch coming up. Misses a little bit high. Ball four. I could, I could use a Sonic drink right now. <laughs> Sounds really good. That does sound pretty good. Yeah. I was hoping uh, that Sonic character would make their way up in the here up here in the box. I don't think he's bringing drinks around, but uh, <laughs> no. might good. give you a token for a free mistaken. drink. Yeah, it's just tokens only. All right, so Andrew Arthur reaches first on the walk, but then he has a pinch or a courtesy runner comes in, number 12, Ashton Fisher, now the runner at first. So runners on first and second, two outs. 
And the hitter coming up is one of the few hitters tonight that has stayed in the game in the same position the whole time. <laughs> Number nine hitter, David Bradley. There you go. First pitch to Bradley in there, called strike. Goes up high with the heat there, swung on and missed, strike two. Just goes. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Three straight pitches. Couldn't have said it better myself. Strike Jason. three. Yep. So all three outs on strikeouts this inning, but a two singles and a walk in between allows Round Rock to attack on one more run, now leading by a score of 10 to 2. Heading to the bottom of the six. Mavs coming up to bat. We'll be right back. All right, we've got another new pitcher here. Come on in relief for Round Rock. Number one, the center fielder, Kate Algeyer, junior left-hander, has come in to pitch in relief for Ren Andrewartha. And he will face the relief pitcher from last inning for the Mavericks, Brandon Morio, as his first, hit first hitter. 7-8-9 due up this inning, starting off with Morio, followed by the D.H. Crail. And then left fielder, James Morio. And first pitch to Morio. Fastball misses outside and low for ball one. Pitch comes inside, but in the dirt. So it's a 2 0 count. Two zero fastball in there for called strike one. Come inside again with the fastball, but bounces in the dirt again. Three and one to count to the leadoff hitter, Brandon Morio. And next pitch does catch the inside corner this time, so moves up to a full count. And 
next pitch misses outside, ball four. Leadoff walk for Morio to start at the bottom of the sixth. It's going to bring up the designated hitter, Caleb Crail. We need base runners. Great way to start. We got a courtesy runner coming in. Can't see a number. You know who that is, Jason? Or do you see a number? I think it might be number 23, Alex Brasenio. Now the courtesy runner for the pitcher Morio at first. Alex is going to throw her to first. Yeah, 23. Needs to uh, get dirty. A little closer than it needed to be over yeah. there, but Brasenio <laughs> is back in time. Get those pants dirty, Brasenio. And first pitch to Crails in there, call strike one. Oh one fastball misses a little low and out. Another quick throw over to first. Pitcher Algaier seemed to be very convinced he had him picked off, but Brasenio is back safely. Another fastball that bounces in front of the plate. So it'll be a 2-1 count now to Crail. Back. Another throw over to first base. I think Brasenio literally just fell over and was able to get back safely. Not much of a lead. Next pitch, two one pitch misses again low, so it's another three one count. And he's gonna throw over again. As Brasinho is about eighteen inches off of first base bag, <laughs> and here comes a three one pitch. Another pitch. Bounces in the dirt. Ball four. Back-to-back -back walks. That catcher is, I mean, excuse me, the pitcher is uh, not happy. He really thought he had Brasenia. Now batting number 15, James Morio. Cade Algar, the pitcher, number one for Round Rock. He's a little frustrated right now. Here comes head coach. Come talk to him. Uh, no one in the bullpen for the Dragons that I see as of right now. So it's a full infield gathering on the mound here for Round Rock. As the head coach talks to his pitcher and the entire infield. While we're waiting for that conversation to happen, the only other game still going around the district here tonight. It's Round Rock and uh, Vista Ridge, isn't it? It's Westwood and Vista Ridge. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, Westwood ahead of Vista Ridge by a score of 5-2 to two in the bottom of the fifth inning. Thank you, sir, for that update. Now there's someone in the Round Rock bullpen getting warmed up. Cannot okay. see a number. Can't see a number, so not sure who it is. The mountain visit is over. Yep. And play ball. James Morio stands in as the hitter here. It looks like a first pitch fastball over the outside part of the plate for a called strike. Next pitch swung out of miss, strike two.
And I'll got our motions to second base. Does not throw. 0 2 pitch coming up to Morio. Pitch gets away from the catcher, but kept in front. 1 and 2 the count. Nobody out yet. Brasenu and, and uh, Crail, your runners on second and first, respectively. Now he's going to throw Heck. it first. And Crail gets dirty, but he is back safely. One two pitch. Swung on, little chop ground ball. That could be trouble. That's going to be trouble as it's going to be an infield single. Everybody's safe. No outs, bases loaded. It's a soft brown ground ball just to the left of the pitcher's mound. It looks like Allgaier tripped trying to get to the ball and just went, got past him. Yeah. Second base in charge, it tried to make a play, but Morio was at first before any play could be made. So, infield single for Morio. Loads the bases. And nobody out. We're back to the top of the order for the Mavericks. Leadoff hitter Jack Owen stands in. And first pitch to Goins. Misses low and inside for a ball. I'm not promising anything, but round rock, bullpen. Looks like number 23, Landon Schroeder. Side armor is what it looks like. Right. No promises, but... And next pitch, fastball misses high and outside, ball two. There we go. Yeah, two and oh now, nobody out, bases loaded. And three straight balls. Outside. Three zero pitch coming up to Goins. In there for get me over strike. Infield corners playing on the grass. For Round Rock. There you go. Line drive into right field. That's gonna get down for a single. One run's gonna score. Scoring one. Crail's gonna come all the way around from second. Oh, he's there. But yes! Safe at the he plate. Got, that's what I saw. He just got in. Close Ooh, play. Very close, but he was safe. Close play, but he was called Ooh. safe. And it looks like the Round Rock head coach is going to come out and ask for a clarification on what happened there. So a two RB, as it stands, a two RBI single for Goins. With runners currently on first and second base, those two runs make the score Round Rock 10, McNeil 4. With nobody out. Shoot, I'm going to get back up. I was standing up when all this is happening, so <laughs> let's keep it going that way. All right, so Round Rock head coach <laughs> heads back to his dugout. Play stands called as called. And Ryan Vosick now stands in with runners on first and second, and still nobody out. And he swings he big cut at the first hack. pitch <laughs> and yeah. fouls it back out yeah. of play. Next pitch, fastball, misses high and outside. I don't know if he's qualified. Let's go, Rhino. Come on, nine. Another fastball swung on a foul back out of play. He's on it. Just get straighten it out. Man, 
Next pitch comes inside and misses inside and low. So we're going to have a 2-2 count. James Morio, your runner on second. Jack Goins, your runner at first. And the 2-2 pitch. Swung on, hard ground ball. Fielded Dang. by Sakura at short. Throws over oh, to third. Oh, he dropped the ball. But Save drops the ball. Sakura fielded the ball, then attempted to make the, uh, the put out at third base, the force out. But uh, third baseman dropped the ball. So everybody's safe. That's a good play by Sakura and the yep. right throw to make. Yep. But... Third baseman just couldn't quite handle it, so safe all around on the error. And here comes the Round Rock head coach again. And he's got to pull him. Looks like that's going to be a, we're going to have a pitching change. Yep. So Algar will come out. And Let's wait and see. Coming in for Round Rock. It's coming in. Here's someone who has to remove their chain. Don't quite have a number on our uh, incoming pitcher here yet. <laughs> Number, oh, what is that? That's five. That's Trey Garza is what I'm saying. Okay. Number five. So number five, Trey Garza, who started the game in right field, is going to come in and be our relief pitcher here. So we will let Garza get his warm-ups. And sorry, it is not Garza. Well, Garza came. <laughs> it seems like it's a team. This is Garza meeting with a home plate umpire right now. Is he going to have to remove another chain? And there goes Garza. All right. Okay. Garza is apparently a decoy of some sorts. Uh, number 23, Landon Schrader, Schroeder, who started the game at third base, is actually going to be the pitcher who is taking his warm-ups here. So we will let Schroeder get his warm-ups, and we will be back. Okay, so sorry for the confusion, folks, there. Um, we've confirmed number 23, Landon Schroeder, is the new relief pitcher. And just so you don't think we're entirely nuts, uh, number five, Trey Garza, who we thought was coming into pitch, has just come in and has entered the game at third base. Trey Garza was a great decoy, though. <laughs> was, was a good decoy. He came running out of the bullpen, so it looked like he was coming to pitch. But you saw it too. Yes. <laughs> okay, so Schroeder inherits. Bases loaded, nobody out. Chris Windesman comes up to bat. And Schroeder with the 
almost submarine, not quite, but almost submarine style delivery from the right side. Gets a called strike on the outside corner to start the at bat with Windsman. Schroeder definitely drops it down low on that delivery. And big swing and a miss by Windsman on that next pitch. So he'll be behind 0 2. Schroeder continuing to work that outside corner. That one misses for a ball. Next pitch swung on. Lined into right field. That's going to get down. That's scoring two, hits. definitely. Morio comes in to score. Goins comes in to score. We got Ryan Vosick flying around, but stops at third base. And Windesman's in with a two RBI stand-up double. That kid, Windy. Making our score round rock 10, McNeil 6. With nobody out, and runners on second and third. So the Mavs keep it rolling here, and that will bring up Jackson Collins to the plate. And he looks at a first pitch called strike on the inside part of the plate. Come on, Jackson. You're due, bud. Come on, 2 4. Next pitch, good framing attempt by the catcher, but not enough to sell that pitch. One ball, one strike to count to Collins. Big, Big swing and a miss of that next pitch there, strike two. I'm not I'm not going to take a seat for the rest of the game. I mean, we don't have a lot of baseball left in this game, but That's I, that I, I have, have to stand. stand. <clears throat> Catcher sets up far outside, and the pitch misses far outside. Just kept in front by the catcher. Almost got through his legs, which would have allowed Vosick to score. Yep. Vosick runner on third, Windsman on second. Nobody out, and 2-2 two -two pitch coming up to Collins. Breaking ball swung on a miss, strike three. Heck of a breaking pitch right there for strike three. That's the first, first one out. he showed. Yeah, I know. It's been steady diet of fastball so far from Schroeder. Right. That was the first first breaking ball there. First so, out of the inning. I'll bring up catcher Garrett Banks. Banks reached twice today. Single back in the fifth inning. Also reached on an error. First pitch to Banks, misses pretty far outside for ball one. Next pitch is swung on, ground ball gets through the 5 6 hole and into left field. That's going to score one run. Vasa oh. comes in easily from Garrett third. to second. Windsman holds up at third, but that on the throw in, that allows Banks to advance to second base. Another RBI single for Banks tonight. And that now makes the score. McNeil has reduced the deficit down to three runs now. Now trailing by 10 to score of 10 to 7. Uh, number 22, Ryan Shook comes in and be the courtesy runner for uh, Banks on second base. I mean, Mavs putting up a five spot thus far in the bottom of the sixth. And looking for more with one out. And let's see. Who do we have hitting here for the Mavs? Number 26. That's a million dollar question. 26. Number 26. Oh, they're going home. Ball. They're going to come home, and they're going to get the get the tag out on Windsman trying to advance from third. It was a ground ball to third. Yeah. 
So the fielder's choice there will make the second out of the inning. Okay, number 26 who just hit that ball there was Xander Kovar. So Kovar's on first. Yeah, I didn't see him on the roster. Or I would have given you the name. Yeah, yeah. Kovar. Okay. Kovar, the freshman. Okay. So Kovar on first. Shook, the courtesy runner on third. Two outs now, and the current pitcher for the Mavs, Brandon Morio, stands in, and he's gets delivered two straight balls. And it looks at another pitch that misses far outside, so he is yet to see a strike this at bat. Yep, just like that, it's 3-0. And actually, with this at bat, they have, the Mavs have batted around this inning. Interesting. On a 3-0 pitch, he flashes that breaking ball that's in there for a called strike. Unorthodox, but it worked. Yeah, that was wild. Just Next pitch is swung on, fly ball. That's Come on! Get in the... It yeah, it drops. Gets, it drops. It gets yeah, down. Moore yeah, was going to get to second base. Run's going to try to score from home. Yeah. That was offline. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like the center fielder may be down and possibly injured. Oh, there. no. No, I didn't I didn't know that. He okay. did He did kind of sell out for it. Took a hard landing. Yeah. Um, right fielder's calling for coach and trainer to come out. He's hurt. No doubt. Okay. So, Morio with the single and then advances to second on the throw in. Brings in an RBI. And so it looks like the trainer is going to head out and check out the uh, center fielder for round walk. Make sure he's okay. It's two runs that additional runs just scored. I need to update. Uh, it should be. Is, I'm just asking, Jason. Isn't that accurate? Round Rock 10, McNeil 9. I believe that's the right score, yes. Updating now, yep. So the Mavs have come all the way back mm -hmm. this inning, batting around. And when we when we do come back to play, it'll be runner on second with two out. All right. All right. So two that was a two RBI single as both Kovar scored from first. And our runner on third also scored. That was Shook, right. Shook was the courtesy runner on third. Kovar reached on the fielder's choice where Chris Windesman was uh, tagged out at the plate for the second out of the inning on the prior play. So yeah, folks, we got a one-run ball game. Looks like the sc official scoring on that last hit there is that was a double, a two RBI double by Morio. And again, folks, we are the center fielder for Round Rock took a hard dive trying to catch that ball that was in the right center gap. Training staff has been out there attending to him. Looks like he's going to stay in the game. He's okay. Most likely got the wind knocked out of him, judging by kind of how he landed. But seems like it's a little more than that. 
Okay, so everybody's going to work their way back to their positions. And Caleb Crail is going to come to bat for the second time this inning. With Brandon Morio standing on second base and two outs. And first pitch to Crail is in there for a called strike. And actually, looks like we have another courtesy runner out for Morio, the pitcher at second base. Looks like. Maybe Alex Brasenio, number 23, has come in again and will courtesy run. Oh, inside, but called strike by the umpire. That pitch almost hit Crail in the jersey there, yeah. but it was called strike, so it's 0-2 count. And goes to the breaking ball again. This one misses outside and low. One two pitch to come coming up to Crail. This is outside and low good again. Eye, ball two. Good eye. Oh, we got deuces. Yep. Dose, dose, dose. Two two pitch. One guy, a little chop ground Trouble. ball fielded by Sakura in the corner. It's not an short. easy play. He's there. And Crail's going to beat the throw out. Persenio advances to third, took a big turn around it. They threw over to third, but he's back in time. So an infield single for Crail. And it looks like we're going to have another pitching change. Second pick pitching change this inning for the Dragons. I had a feeling that ground ball was going to be trouble. It, was, it wasn't hit hard to score a... All right, so it looks like number 24, Cade Weibel, is going to come in in relief. And possibly a few more defensive changes yeah. as well. So we will let Weibel get his warm-up pitches in. Mav still rallying in this inning. Down by one run, 10-9 to nine here in the bottom of the six. We'll be right back. All right, so the new relief pitcher for the Dragons here, Cade Weibel, is ready to go. He inherits runners on first and third, two outs. Tying run for the Mavericks stands on third in the form of Alex Briseño. And for the second time this inning, James Morio comes up to bat. 
had a single in his first at bat this inning and scored a run. One of love it, just batting seven around. Seven runs scored yeah. in, just in this inning. Let's keep it going. Everybody back. And Weibel steps off and balk. Motions like he's going to pull the classic yo-yo play there. Here comes the first pitch. This is outside, ball one. <laughs> Catcher set up inside. Looking for an inside pitch there, but that pitch went outside and missed. Ball two. Mavs dugout is going nuts. I'm so <laughs> I, lo I love the oar. I love the paddle. The paddle is back, Greg Snyder. <laughs> row, oh, row, next row, pitch. Call strike, but it. I'm gonna start the row chant up here. Basically bouncing the dirt. <laughs> no, don't worry, I'm not. Class of 2020 shout out. That's right. Two one pitch tries to go outside again. Misses low and out. Three one count now to the hitter Morio. Hitter's pitch normally right here. Well, the pitch misses outside. Ball four on base. Ball four. Base is loaded. Let's go. So Weibel comes in, walks the first batter he faces, loads the bases, and Jack Goins will step in, who also had a single mm -hmm. in this inning. I was waiting for you to finish. I was like, yeah, it, it <laughs> happened this same inning. And here he is again. All right, Jack. And this may draw the entire Round Rock infield in. As they may try to cut that, although it is a four situation, so yeah, maybe not. I wouldn't anticipate that. Yeah, two outs. Going oh, swings the first pitch fastball and fouls it back to the net. Activity going on in the Dragon bullpen. One pitch to Goins, hard ground ball, but hard fielded hit. right hard into the hit glove of the first ball. baseman, and yep. that's going to end the inning. Seven spot, seven runs for the uh, for the Mavericks in the bottom of the sixth, making the score ten to nine. Round Rock. We'll be right back for the top of the seventh, folks. Stay tuned; you don't want to miss it. All right, top of the order due up here for Round Rock in the top of the seventh inning. We have one defensive change. Number 26, Xander Kovar, who hit last inning, is now our right fielder. And Devin Petrie has gone back in 
as the leadoff hitter. He looks at called strike one. Petrie started the game in left field and in the leadoff spot was pinch hit for by uh, Walker Alsobrooks. And then now he comes back in his original position. And he looks at a breaking ball that misses a little outside and low for ball one. Next pitch, fastball in there on the inside corner, called strike two. One, two, fastball, <clears throat> misses a little outside, ball two. Two-two pitch misses a little high and out, so count's going to go full to the leadoff hitter Petrie. Oh, he wanted to. Hey, that was close. Just lays off that last Just, pitch that misses yeah, a bit high. I think he laid off for ball four. So right. leadoff walk for Petrie. Oh, he wanted it, <laughs> and that's going to bring up Trey Garza who was pinch hit four back at the fifth inning. He's going to return back in his original spot. That's right. okay. Looks like he may have offered around a bunt, pulled back, but it's a called strike. Oh, Mario throws over to first. Collins, first baseman, does a nice, good job. Of nice snag there, yeah. Coming across his body to Collins. catch the slightly errant throw. No damage done. Oh, one pitch is bunted. It's a hard bunt down the first baseline. Tag Collins is going to take it and tag the yep. runner. So Garza is out, sacrifices the uh, the runner Petrie over to second base. And with one out, that will bring up Tyler Betts, who was pinch hit for and re returning back in to his original hitting position. First pitch to Betts, misses a little high and outside, ball one. Comes inside with a fastball, chopped foul, out of, over by the, uh, actually into the Mavericks dugout. One ball, one strike, the count to Betts. Next pitch, breaking ball. Just misses a little bit inside. Ball two. Two one pitch, swung on and missed. Strike two. Pull the string here, Jason. Breaking pitch or? Might be. Him chase the high velo outside. Next there pitch, changeup, swung and a miss, strike change three. Changeup, though, yeah. <laughs> when the fastball, I hit him with the changeup. For the second out. Fourth strikeout mm -hmm. across an inning and two thirds for so far for Morio. And with two away, that'll bring up Travis Sakura, who struck out in his last at bat. There it 
And he looks at the first pitch breaking ball that's in there for a called strike. Next pitch, fastball swung on a miss, strike two. Change up. We'll see. Well, yeah, we'll see. 0 2 pitch swung on, fly ball. That's an right. out. Should be underneath a couple steps in. Win has been. Yes. Third out. So no damage done by the leadoff walk. As the Dragons are retired, one, two, three in order after that walk. We're down to the bottom of seventh, folks. Mavs coming up, trailing by just one run. Heart of the order coming up, two, three, four hitters. Stay with us, folks. It's going to be a good one. We'll nail right butter, back. nail butter. All right, folks, here we go. Doesn't get more exciting than this. Bottom of seven. Round rock up by one run by a score of 10 to nine. Leading off for the Mavericks, number two hitter and shortstop, Ryan Vosick. All of you McNeil Mavericks fans, all of you need to do uh, your, um, you know, some type of rally towel or, you know, get the rally monkey out. Whatever works, right? We need some good mojo for the Mavs right here. All it takes is one run to tie this ball game up. Whatever superstitions you have to bring up good juju, do it at home right now. <laughs> what is it from Major League? <laughs> they brought a bucket of fried chicken. <laughs> no, he called for a live chicken. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. So we're actually going to have, is this another pitching change or is this the same? No. Oh, okay. So he's just asked for additional warm-ups. I thought, yeah. thought we were good to go, but nope. I, I thought we had warm-ups. Um, Not entirely sure what's going on here, folks. Um. <laughs> There's some discussion before we get going here in the bottom of the seventh. Round Rock head coach is talking to the home plate umpire. Okay, he's heading back to the dugout. Home plate umpire is communicating something. There's a lot of sheets out, not sure what's happening. Cade Weibel, who came in in relief, uh, the third pitcher last inning, in that long inning where the Mavs batted around, he is still the pitcher. Let's just play a ball. Okay, and so whatever happened, happened. We're set to go. Ryan Vosick steps in. First pitch to Vosix, fastball that misses outside for ball one. Oh, 
Another pitch. Fastball misses low and outside in the dirt. Ball two. Two zero pitch, green Taking light. Taking a hack, yep. Chopped it foul though. Two one pitch, another ball misses low in the dirt. Ball three. Oh, 3-1 pitch comes high in the kitchen, ball four. High and tight for ball four. Walks just as good of a, just as good as a hit. 100%. First base. Let's go. So a walk to lead off the bottom of the seventh. It's going to bring up number three hitter Chris Windesman, who had an RBI double. Last inning. Squares around a bunt, pulls back, pitches a called strike on the outside part of the plate. Did not even look close, but uh, no, it didn't. Next pitch swung Ooh. on, high fly ball. He got it. Right fielder though. takes a couple steps back and is underneath it. And he makes the catch. Not deep enough for Vosick to tag up in advance, so he will stay at first base. So one away. That's going to bring up first baseman Jackson Collins. Hit the top half of the ball, buddy. Come on, Jackson. First pitch to Collins, a questionable oh, called strike man. on the outside part of the plate. All right. It's all good. Next pitch, fastball misses inside. One one pitch coming up. Fast Good eye, bud. Fastball misses outside. Two and one. One pitch, another fastball. Umpire says it caught the outside corner. Corner. Shoot, I'm nervous just watching. Two balls, two <laughs> strikes to count to Collins. Two two pitch, one on. Right. Fouled it's sharply, foul ball, third base side. Tight. Yeah. Comes another 2 2 pitch. This is outside. Count goes full. Good at bat right here. The 3 2 pitch. Swung on, chop foul. Just 
saying. Full count to Collins, one out. Vasek led off the inning with a, with a walk. He still stands on first base. And a 3-2 pitch. No. No. Oh, no, 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 three. no, no, no. No. Up and out. Come on, Blue. So Collins goes down on strikes for the second out of the inning. And it will be down to Garrett Banks to keep the inning alive here and keep the game alive for the Mavs. Down by just one run. Oh, gee. With that runner on first base, Ryan Vosick. Vosick at first represents the tying run. And next pitch. First pitch to Banks. Fastball misses high and outside for ball one. Sure wouldn't hurt pass ball so that Vasa could get to second with two outs. Pitcher's been pretty. Uh, and you don't want to call a steal right here. There's no way. Not with two outs. Yeah. And that's out of the question. Oh. Good. Big swing and a miss on that 1 0 fastball there by Banks. Strike at one. That pitch. is outside. That's a ball. Misses outside that yeah. time. Yeah. So it'll be two balls and one strike to Banks. And the run rock catcher heads out to talk to his pitcher, Weibel. Comes back in. Two one pitch coming up. Fastball swung on, fouled back into the net. The doses. Two balls, two strikes. The count to Banks. And next pitch swung on and missed, strike three. So the Mavs with a very exciting and valiant rally in the sixth inning, tacked on seven runs to come within one run of Round Rock, but unfortunately can't tie it up in the bottom of the seventh and lose by a score of 10 to nine. Thanks everyone for joining us tonight. The Mavs have a two-game series next week against Cedar Ridge starting Tuesday, April 12th, 7 o'clock. They will be hosting Cedar Ridge here. It is also senior night where we'll honor our seniors in the program that night. Thanks again, folks, for joining us. Have a good evening. We'll see you next week. Good night, everyone.